In this video, we'll be multiplying fractions. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's jump into today's video. Let's have a look at this first example. When we are multiplying fractions, there's two methods you can follow. So you can choose the easier one for yourself. I'm going to show you both of the methods. So multiplying fractions is really easy. And for the first method, all you're going to do is you're going to multiply the numerators and the denominators to get your answer. So 2 times 1 is 2 over 3 times 4 is 12. But that is not your final answer. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing fractions. You always need to simplify your answer. So how do I simplify my answer? I divide by the greatest common factor between the numerator and the denominator. And they both can be divided by 2. So our final answer is going to be 2 divided by 2 is 1 over 12 divided by 2 is 6. And if you're still struggling and you're not sure how to simplify fractions, I have a video. I will link that in the description box below so that you can go and check that video out. Now let's take this exact example and we do our second method. Now this is exactly the same example, 2 over 3 times 1 over 4. But before we multiply the numerators and denominators, we're first going to simplify the fractions by using cross cancellation. Now when we do cross cancellation, we're going to check if there's any number that can go into the 3 and the 1, any factors they both have. We cannot divide the 1 and the 3 by anything to simplify this. So now let's look at the other two numbers. Is there anything we can divide the 2 and the 4 by to make it simpler? Yes, both the 2 and the 4 can be divided by 2. So I'm going to divide both of those by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 over 3 and 4 divided by 2 is going to be 1 over 2. And now that we did the cross cancellation and our fractions are simpler, we can just go ahead and multiply the simpler fractions. So first we have 1 times 1 is equal to 1 over 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And can you see that both of our answers are the same? 1 over 6. So you can choose the method that's better for you. Now let's look at one more example. So let's start with our first method to get our answer. So we multiply the numerators. 1 times 3 is 3 over 6 times 5 is 30. But remember that this is not our final answer. We can still simplify this fraction. So what is the greatest common factor that can go into both 3 and 30? We can divide them both by 3 to get our final answer. And 3 divided by 3 is 1 over 30 divided by 3 is 10. So that is our final answer. Now let's take this exact example and we do our second method. So we're going to see if we can simplify these fractions by doing cross cancellation. So is there any number that I can divide 1 and 5 by to make it simpler? There isn't. So now let's look at the other two. Is there any number I can divide 6 and 3 with to make them simpler? Yes, I can divide 3 and 6 by 3. So our first fraction is going to be 1 over 2. And our second fraction is going to be 1 over 5. And now that our fractions are simpler and we did cross cancellation, we can just multiply the numerators and denominators. So 1 times 1 is 1 over 2 times 5 is 10. And can you see again, our answers are the same. So you can just choose the method that's easier for you. And just like in all my other videos, there will be a free worksheet and a memo in the description box below. Just click on the link and you can go and download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.